Neonic Void Productions presents And welcome to Spookocalypse, where we talk all things spooky. My name is Housekeeper, and I'm joined by my three other hosts. Who are you people? I'm a person by the name of Matt Chairman. (laughs) And I am Bunyip. And I am the gay that lives under your bed, Zio. <laughs> it's time to get the pest control in here then. Uh, the oh. fucking roach. You fucking <laughs> bitch. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah. who are we talking about today, Zio? Uh before we do get into that, housekeeper, take it away. Oh again? <gasps> if you like this <sighs> podcast, make sure you follow <laughs> again. <laughs> I get excited that I hate it here. It <laughs> if you like this podcast, make sure you follow and rate us on whatever site you listen to your podcast. Share with your friends. New episodes get uploaded every Saturday. Links are down in the description for other podcasts that are part of the Neonic family. Follow us on Twitter. Our handle is at Spookocalypse. That's at S P O O K O C A. L Y P S E. We also have a YouTube now. Yay! Yay! And that link will also be down in the description um, or part of the link tree. Um, we do spooky shit and um, mints are on the pillow. And the flavor is s'more flavor. Oh, <laughs> s'mores, yes. It is I was going to be like, it's some pretentious shit that you can't even pronounce. <laughs> and it doesn't taste that good. Yeah. <laughs> and you're not even supposed to eat it. You're supposed to savor it. And that is our fifth host, Nimba, the three legged feline. She's making her opinions known. Because every time. Tell us all about it. Because every Tell time somebody's Nimba. on the phone or talking or something that's not to her, she has to feel. She feels like she has to point out her opinions. She has what? so many, apparently. She does. She, she got a woman speak. Exactly, because you know she got a lot to say and a lot of shit talking to do. <laughs> and it's to the other cat Oreo. <laughs> anyway, uh, so today we're going to be talking about a movie. Oh, okay. Tell yeah, us. Yes, Tell girl, us. the movie's so good. Bet. <laughs> My God, <laughs> this cat. Um, the movie we're going to be talking about today is a recent one that came out back in November of this year, November eighteenth to be exact. Last November eight. They came out last year. Well, end of twenty twenty two, November eighteenth. The movie is called The Menu. It was released by Searchlight Pictures, aka Disney. Um. So this is quote unquote a Disney movie or more accurately a Disney funded movie. Yeah, that that's that sounds, lines up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean it's fun I mean the company's own that made that distributed is owned by Disney and they funded it. So I mean So it's a I, Disney property. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Disney's like, we want that movie right there. Release it. Um, the production companies behind their hyper object industries, Gary Sanchez productions and T a T S G entertainment. Uh, this movie's director is Matt Mark. Malloyd, Mark, sorry, Mark Malloyd, Lloyd. Yeah. Right? That's probably good yeah. enough. Malloyd. Yeah. Malloyd. Yeah. Malloyd. <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> He's also the guy who did. I'm trying to see if there's anything that's. He did three episodes of Shameless. He did Once Upon a Time the pilot episode. Um, 
Minority Report. Entourage. Shameless. Oh yeah, Entourage is like his big thing because he did. And Shameless. Before. Shameless was huge. He did three episodes of the original Shameless, and then he did the then he was part of the American one. Nice. Six episodes of Game of Thrones. That too. Makes sense. So he's he's married. Oh, well, he's got. I guess married to a costume designer for film. I guess cool, cool, cool he's work boy, guy. working guy. Um, he's British. This is his first. I think this is his. Is not his director, de, uh, directorial debut, but it is one of the few films that he has done. He's done um, some British comedy, fil- a lot of British films mostly, and then, yeah, he's done mostly comedy and like one romantic comedy, and this happens to be his fourth film he's ever done. First time he's- in 11, last time he made a film was back in 2011, so it's been 11 years. His uh, his uh, spouse um, was the costume designer for Black Swan. Work. Icon, um, the wrestler legend. and after earth icon legend um so yeah as we're talking about the menu today there the budget pretty oh, okay go ahead sorry oh sorry the one last thing the budget for the movie was 30 million it made 78 million 78.1 million worldwide damn really wow 40 million mm-hmm. up. did this get oh, released in theaters right. yes, yes it, it did, did. Oh wow! I think it's still in theaters. Like people can uh, still go and watch it. Some whenever, theaters still have it. I, yes. Yeah, because whenever okay. I Google it, like it's giving me show times. So okay. like, there's there's two places here in our city okay. that has it. Yeah. And they're actually it's about to play in like an hour for both of them. Yeah. So it's still playing in some theaters, depending on where you're located and depending on the theater yeah. chain. During the time of this recording, anyway. Yes. By the time yeah. this comes out, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be in theaters anymore. Uh, it might. I mean, this movie, this episode comes out next week <laughs> on time of recording, so it might. Um, But yeah, so the menu. It stars... Some pretty heavy hitters. Like, it, start, it stars oh, yeah. Voldemort himself. Yes. <laughs> yes. Ralph Fiennes. Yes. Uh, it stars uh, uh, Miss Taylor Joy, icon yeah. legend. Love yeah. her. I need Taylor Joy. Love her. Love her so much. Nicholas Holt. Mm. He looks familiar. Mm. Oh, warm bodies. Mm. That's pfft. yeah. Yes, <gasps> yes oh he was. He was our. <laughs> yeah, he was in warm. Bo- yeah, he was in warm bodies. In warm bodies. That was so good. Yeah. And then you got, I think those. Total the, 180. His character John is Leguiz- 180 in this one. John Leguiz, yes. Leguiz- Guizamo. Yes. And I think, I would say those are probably the most well known actors from this, from this yeah. picture. Uh, yeah, this, yeah, this is, yeah, I would say this is probably the most, those are the most well known actors. Um, This movie is a horror comedy because, I mean, of course. Well, it, it, so mean, it has to be. Laugh. I mean, it has to be somewhat. Has to be a horror for us to talk about. So yeah, we're not going. We're not going back to those uh, early days of spook. Uh, Passing. What the fuck were you thinking, sir? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, mean girls. Oh my god, I still can't get over that. <laughs> you can't. Sit I with mean, us. <laughs> you can't sit with us. So, the menu. Who wants to take the forefront? Who wants to, who wants to take the the rails? Did anyone write down the name of the courses? Because I think that's kind of the best way. Oh, about it. The best jokes. Those were oh, pretty no. great. Dude, the fucking last one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Crap. Okay, Tyler's hold on. Bullshit. Let me see if I can pull it up on my <laughs> on my TV real quick. It's technically so the next to last, the, but yeah. The menu. Um, dish names. Okay, so we're gonna Movie. start off with uh the introduction of Tyler Ledford. I got it. I got. I got a list. 
perfect. Uh, what's the and it, this movie takes place in uh, courses, uh, as a menu does, a fancy menu uh, restaurant. <laughs> um, what's the name of the first? It's it starts immediately, right? The courses like before well, they even I mean, get on the boat. Yeah, but so the movie starts off with them waiting on the pier. Yeah. Okay. Um, to get onto the boat to go to where the 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 restaurant. the Hawthorne. Yeah. Hawthorne. Hawthorne. And like Tyler is like explaining to Margot like how it's a very exclusive thing and like like he's so excited for to, to go see it and how big of a foodie he is and uh he nerds out over the the uh chef. lineup of guests as well as fangirls over the chef and like he's like watched all his videos and 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 like he's basically sucking the chef's dick before he even gets to see his face so <laughs> and they take a whenever they get to the island they take um whenever they check in um the hostess the hostess elsa kind of was like taken aback because margo wasn't supposed to be the guest that he brought it was supposed to be someone else some yeah some other woman yeah some other woman and also pause side note one of the producers of of this movie that i did not know about until just right so just right now will farrell produced this movie yeah what? I did yeah, I didn't know that. I was looking at the producers and I'm like, oh, we yeah. didn't talk about the producers and Will Farrell. I'm like, Will Farrell <laughs> work I best mean, best work. Yeah. I can't oh, say that. I like a love his I love a lot of his movies. I can't pick a favorite from him. I hate Elf anyway. <gasps> How dare you? I love I do. Elf. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it so much. Why? Just tell me why real quick before we get back on topic. I need to know. It's stupid. You're In what stupid. way? Everything, I Why? hate it. It, it it's just no. It's just bad. It's just bad. It's not. No, it's not funny. It's I love bad. his autistic ass. I love his autistic. Anyway, ass. back on topic. <laughs> so and I yeah, mean that with all the love. Yeah. So um, Tyler gives Margot shit for smoking because he is such a uh what like a you're gonna yeah, ruin your palate. Palate, yes. Um. And so, you know, that's kind of a thing that gets brought up a little later, but not super important right now. But it will be. So, yeah, they there a lot of the guests are basically like food, um, kind of food reviewers, connoisseurs. One is uh, a food a- reviewer. She's a she's a she goes to restaurants and and um, and, and the person a food critic, like, a food, food critic kind of looks like Jane Lynch. But isn't I don't know if that's actually Anne. <laughs> Anne is the is her name. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. with her husband, I forgot. No, it wasn't Anne. I thought it was uh, uh, uh her partner, like her business partner. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, Lillian. Um, yeah, Anne is the wife, wife. of this guy, Richard. Uh, Richard and Margot recognizes it. They like it doesn't say who she recognizes from those two, Mm -hmm. but she starts to be like, Oh, fuck, whenever like she sees them both of them walk up. So, so I think it's it'll make good time to just introduce all the characters now. So, um, Lillian, okay, so uh, I'm sorry, who were we just talking about? Anne and Richard are basically a married couple that. Basically, I think it, they say that they show up to this uh, event like every They're year. regulars. They're regulars. 11 yeah. times. They've been to this restaurant 11 times. Yeah. From uh, what the rant goes, what he says in the rant. Anyway. Mm-hmm. And then you have the food critic, Lillian, and her husband. <laughs> I can't find his name. Uh, I can look at the faces. Yeah, I'm looking at them too. I don't really see him. Is it Ted? It might be to hold on. It's not. Okay. Um, and then we also have uh, the movie star. Who you actually? He actually only goes by movie star. Really? Um, 
He's funny though. He's one of he's, he's yeah. Really funny. What's his name? Um, John Leguizamo, uh, and his. I was a little unclear of their relationship. Um, if she he's was his, his assistant. assistant, okay, yeah. his assistant Felicity. Um, apparently he's also like a he does like a food show though. Or he is... wants to he wants to pitch a food show. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so that's why he's here. Mm-hmm. Um. And he claims to have really close ties to the chef. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's how he got. That's how he got his this the reservation. Right. That's what he says. And, mm-hmm. and then we have the group of three guys: uh, Bryce, Soren, and Dave. The dude bros. The dude bros. Yes. Um, they are basically uh, super kind of low assistants like executive assistants or whatever to the guy who who's basically funding this chef's kind of island he uh, he he's he owns the building like he owns the island and everything mm-hmm. and allows the chef to um basically from what i understand it uh basically uh run his run his um restaurant, restaurant. yeah yeah uh, I think he gets a name too. What's his name? Okay, that explains a lot. Just you know, the certain course with the uh, tacos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, now it makes sense. Oh, you didn't get that? Okay, yeah. I didn't, so that's okay, why. I didn't know who they worked for. I thought they were just like rich dickheads. Mm, well, they are, but they're <laughs> not. They're. They're. I think they're like not even that important because it comes up later that they aren't really anything i think his name is jeremy i think he's jeremy the the rich guy okay but i can't i can't be too sure oh angel investor that's what they call him in this the angel investor gotcha okay and i think the only other kind of uh two main characters would be the uh the chef and the uh hostess elsa and what is his name, Chef? A uh, Slowick. But then there's also a uh, sommelier, which is the uh, wine steward. He's the one who was walking around. He's like, oh, "We're gonna pair this with one of our favorites." It has, been, you know, that guy. Mm-hmm. He's he's a common occurrence in this movie too. But all he's yeah. doing is ex- is describing the dish or the wine. Yeah. So they're all taken to this remote island where they're basically it's an experience. The entire like thing from them stepping off the boat onto onto the island. Um, they're watching. They they get to see like uh, fishermen go and fish the the what is the, it scallops? Yeah, the the um is this yeah scallops? Yeah like fresh from the sea uh they they kind of show them the uh the smokehouse where they prepare the meats that they plan on using um for like like days in advance or something like that yeah they they age it for like uh, like in a in a very um ancient nordic uh traditional way i think she said and they're like oh so what happens if you pull it out like on a day before she goes well you know and like she goes into this like grotesque this grotesque like description of like basically a, a stomach virus and she goes and then you'll die and then like she just walks off and i'm like damn yeah and his face is just like that oh, that clearly fake smile and while she's explaining it slowly turns into like like bitch uh-huh. what the fuck and then everybody else has like a nervous laugh just like <laughs> Oh, and then it shows the sleeping quarters, which is basically like a freaking military bunk. Yes. And he runs it. The, the chef runs it like one because she I think it's at this point she explains that uh, dinner is exactly four hours and 25 minutes long. Like they have everything down to the second on when everything happens. Yeah, they um, they wake up at a specific time every day. And then they work and work and work all day up until the time that they have to go to sleep. And it's just clockwork. 
there is one more uh, woman that uh, I just remembered. Um, but I don't know that she actually gets a name. The mom? But she, yes, the mom. I no, think all she, she just, does is drinks. All she does is drink. Yeah, <laughs> she's like... already waiting, waiting in the restaurant. Already, she looks like drunk off her ass before they even walk in the restaurant. I mean, to be fair, I'm pretty sure she knew what the plan was, and she's like, "Fuck it," <laughs> and just like, decided, I, I would have done it. that shit too. <laughs> I can't believe I raised my goddamn. <laughs> And so when they go to sit down, like they have like name cards, like for exactly the person who's supposed to sit where, like everything is meticulously thought out, planned out. Um, um, and you kind of you, you get you can uh, from the like dining room tables, you can see the kitchen and all of the the chefs working, and you watch each one of like every move that they make is like perfect and like picture perfect and dude they're like uh, faces all up in that food like yeah making sure that every detail is exact they measure out the cuts and everything i was like damn so basically uh the first um they kind of get into they they sit down they the moment um they're ready to serve uh they they all come out at the same exact time all the food looks exactly the same uh the first dish is odd. I don't even know what it really was. So it's called um, it's called the um the island. That's what it's called. Right. And um I have a thing here that explains what everything is. So the island Okay, um, compressed and pickled cucumber melon. Mm-hmm. Uh, with milk, snow, charred oh, yes. lace. Yes. So that... and it's served on top of a rock, right? So it's it's lemon. No. So the first one is where the fuck is it? Because like I don't think they have it in. So the the first course is called the island. So they had like this like pre thing, which was uh. The welcome dish was a lemon caviar served on raw oyster with a, a, a mignonette, which was mm-hmm. supposed to, um, like, the, he doesn't explain anything for it. They're like, here you go. Um, uh, this is just a welcome thing. And, and of course, Tyler is a fucking. Yeah, he gushes about this. Meanwhile, Margo is just like. Mm, all right. Mm-hmm. It was like it's served with alginate. And it was like well, alginate, like algae. Yes. Oh, like pond scum. Nice. Like she doesn't care. <laughs> so basically, it's at the end. Like, do they finish eating it? Or, no, no, they don't. When does he make his? Okay, they have the the melon things. They're all starting to, you start to get a little bit of their character development. Uh, the assistant to the movie star is unha- is not happy with her job, and she wants to take a different job. Uh, the couple, the married couple, aren't really speaking to each other, even looking at each other. Uh, meanwhile, the food critic is just going on and on about how, oh, she was there to help start this guy start this guy's career but she's also talking uh, smack about the dishes too as if like they could be better the second one is uh uh, amuse uh boosh um i I don't know it's b-o-u-c-h-e um amuse ah that's the rock one no that the island is the one with the rock so this one is um round a round like candy surrounded by charred lace um, and it has like the, this cucumber, like it's a cucumber dish oh, with I remember the that one. with the lace and the milk snow, um, <laughs> and uh, like I, I'm not gonna say what it. I, I, you know what? I'll post this in our Discord yeah. so because this has the symbolism in it too, and that's not my job. <laughs> that's 
That's Bunny Yip's job. So when I have to like sort out this stuff, like I wasn't paying attention to the dishes as much for symbolism. I was just well, looking at how it's all presented. Symbolism. It has a lot of like foreshadowing and shit in it. Gotcha. And okay. then the next course is the island where it's like the rock and it has like stuff that they have found and done like like and put on the island, like including like little leaves and flowers and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they put this. Oh, it's a caviar, or what do they put on top of the rocks? Is it the scallop? It's the scallop. So it's yeah, freshly harvested nasty. scallops, plants, and flowers from the island with slightly frozen seawater that flavors the dish as it melts from the island. And whenever he said, "Oh yeah, the seawater is what flavors the dish," I was like, Ugh! <laughs> "Because, because have you ever swallowed accidentally swallowed seawater? Like whenever you go yep. to the beach." That gets you so fucking sick. Yeah. That gets you so like literally within like an hour you're you're throwing up. It's dis- I'm like why would you do that? <laughs> I mean, I know uh, why, but I mean <laughs> <laughs> So to begin the kind of courses, uh the chef comes out and gets everyone's attention by clapping. And the moment he claps, and all of the chefs behind him stand basically at attention, facing the guests and stopping what they're doing. And like, as they all kind of listen to his kind of spiel or whatever he does, talking about how uh, you're not going to eat tonight. You're going to savor. Okay. You're going to taste. Uh, what was like just a whole bunch of just things that he was just being pretentious about like, yeah i was like wow okay. but he has a very serious like he's not joking about this shit like he he's you're you're going to have this experience like and he makes a point of, that this whole thing has been planned out to be a perfect meal the most perfect meal you'll ever have or whatever like that like yeah, he's planned out and measured everything down to the finest molecule. And I was like, okay. You go, Voldemort. Uh, and even, and then like, Ty, uh, Tyler, Tyler, Taylor? Tyler. I'm just going to call him R. Um, R, explain- <laughs> R explains uh, that like, oh no, like each dish is another part of the story and it's a whole concept and you won't know what the full concept is until the last, um, the last course. And then it all ties together and he goes, that's, it's part of the experience. And he's like being all like, like he's trying to be like a nerd about it. Like while the chef is talking and the chef kind of calls him out on it too. He's like, what? I'm sorry. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry, chef. Oh my God. Does he hate me? Should I go apologize? And I was like, shut up. Oh my God. (laughs) Yeah. I was like, I hate this guy. Yeah. He was like the most cringe part of this movie. Like (laughs) just him, like kind of yeah, being that way. Like, oh no. Or it's like, I really like this guy's food. You are not anywhere near my level of appreciation for food made by a chef that I'm in love with in a fanatical way. Oh yeah, especially after the <laughs> after the second course, which was like the breadless bread plate, which was just little samples of what would be put on bread if he was serving it. And she goes, yes. "What the fuck? Is, there's not even any food here." <laughs> He's, he talks about how the importance of grain and how it's a part of every the common man's life and 60% of our agriculture is is grains. made up of grain grains and so <laughs> he's like so uh, since you are all not ordinary or common we will be having a breadless bread plate <laughs> for the second course which was so funny because everyone's basically like are you serious? This is, is, is a joke, right? And I was like, no, no, we're not giving you bread. We're, gi- we're giving you things that go on bread. Oh, no, yeah, because like Perhaps one of the dude bros. Perhaps even in bread, but not the bread itself. One of the dude bros is like, yeah, just you, can, you can't just like bring me like one piece of bread. She was like, no. No, like and Elsa was like, no. <laughs> no. No, no. No, we're not. We're not going to do that. And he goes, it's like, he goes, it's like, you know who we are, right? She goes, oh, yeah, we know exactly who you are. So you you can't just like bring us like a bread? No, <laughs> no way. 
we can have this place shut down by the end of the day. And she's just all like, like you do care. that. <laughs> <laughs> like she literally went, you do that. <laughs> she's like, I don't care. <laughs> and then. Um, oh, yeah, she whispers into one of their ears. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That's like my favorite fucking line in the whole movie. Yes. So she gets close, like uh, one of the guy, the guy that stood up, like she, she's like, now please take your seat. And he sits down. She goes to put the napkin on his lap for him. And as she does that, she leans in close, real close and says, you will eat less than you desire, but more than you deserve. Yes. And I was like, oh, a queen. <laughs> and, and then, um, the, the food critic was like taught like you know dissecting each thing and she's like hmm like it tastes amazing but like one of these looks split <laughs> like the emotion is split which i don't really know what an emotion is no but... no no she didn't even say the emotion split she said that like the thing itself like the thing that was on the plate like it 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 wasn't um, the consistency was supposed to be that it was it was starting to uh, congeal and 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 separate, basically. And oh, yeah. the chef overheard her say that, and then Elsa comes by with a with a, with a giant bowl of it, and she goes, yes. "Here's your split, whatever the hell it is." <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what it was called, but she's like, "Here you go. Here's it split for you." And I was like, "Damn the pettiness in this!" Oh, so good. Meanwhile, Tyler's still gushing about the concept of the dish, and he's taking pictures, even though they explicitly said, "Like, we don't want you taking pictures because it's meant to be an ephemeral experience." Yeah, not only that, but like because it's individuality and it is art within itself. Like, we ask you to not like take pictures and you see him and you could hear the fucking like camera like the shutter clicking. you see a cook like click and i'm all like oh my god you fucking idiot. you're so stupid and then the third course the third course is where it ramps up oh yeah <laughs> So he basically comes out. He gets their attention. Every uh, every beginning of the course, he does the whole clap thing. Everyone stands at attention, and it seems that every time Margot like kind of like jumps and fucking like because she's faced away from the kitchen. So every time he does that, she she gets freaked out because it's just a loud ass clap and, and she goes, gets quiet. He's gonna do that every time. Do that every time. Yes, yes he is. <laughs> and I'm like yes, and I'm gonna enjoy every second of it. Yeah, so the chef comes out and talks about a childhood memory that he has, uh, where every Tuesday would be ta was Taco Tuesday uh, with his family, but uh, one day his father came home drunk, and uh, and his mom was also say, drunk. Yeah, and he like points her out like because she's still sitting there in the corner kind of like drinking still yeah, and he's like not much has changed and so what was it that he uh his father was um very drunk and the mom got angry yeah and he described like and then my father proceeded to wrap her neck around with a telephone cord mm-hmm and so he went and grabbed some kitchen scissors and stabbed him and... in the thigh. And <laughs> and as he's saying this story, you see the chefs in the kitchen stab this chicken with like mini scissors. I yes. love that. Mm -hmm. He's also like, I really regret not stabbing him in the throat, but hey, I didn't know any better. It's like, I was only Damn. seven, and I was like, Damn. Damn. <laughs> killer from the jump okay um anyways so yeah they bring out the chicken thigh with uh scissors in it so yeah um, it's called chicken tacos with scissors in it <laughs> taco white people taco night <laughs> now what's special about this course is that it comes with uh tortillas and oh, yes. they... oh, the tortillas. <laughs> oh, yes. oh, what is this 
the cup they're of very tears. he goes he goes he, he, whenever he serves it whenever he serves it he goes it's all like yes so like this course is all about memories and i hope that this course elicts some wonderful memories for you and he walks away let, as like the tortillas let, are being served yeah let me oh my god i love it Wait. so they start opening the tortillas like oh tortillas ah oh, finally bread because that was my iconic line you, you i know you oh god what the fuck you'll At eat less information and against and but more than you deserve less less than you want and more than you deserve desire or desire yeah. desire iconic line love elsa uh <laughs> ursula elsa. um elsa oh. i was right elsa um but yeah they also open the tortillas and tortillas have like images engraved on them like uh kind of like a burned into them and one shows um the old man the old couple the man with another woman it looks very familiar and then you got the food critic in different restaurants and she goes strange all these restaurants that she's all closed. these restaurants like are ones that i've like i've made closed down i was like ooh. Ooh. And then the three younger guys for um, money embezzlements. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah, they have, what is it, statement, like bank statements? Yeah. Of mm -hmm. them basically embezzling false, yeah, money. Yeah, false bank statements. Ooh. And then yeah. I Ooh. forgot what the act. Oh, the actor, it was a movie. It was a movie poster, um, Dr. Doctor Sunshine. Yes. Yeah. Good morning, Dr. Sunshine or some shit. And that was like yeah. the movie he considered to be like his worst, right? Or, yeah. Well, he considers he it. it um, no, like he actually loved like the movie, the oh. the assistant. No, 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 no. The well, oh, he says it was an okay movie. Like he's like, ah, it wasn't my best, and and but the chef, the chef was like, oh yeah, like I went to go watch a movie on my day off, my first day off in like a uh, few yeah. weeks, and I went to go see. Dr. Sunshine and he goes what a shit show of a movie and I was like oh. and he goes <laughs> to waste my only day off watching this horrible movie and God seeing damn. no joy in an artist do his work damn and he go and like he just fucking rip. And the thing is, though, was that like right after he like rips it, like rips him a new one. I think so, uh, uh, someone else later on in the movie was like, "Oh man, I think that." Yeah, yeah. Bad. He's always like, "Yeah, me and my wife love this movie." And he got kind of looks at the chef like, "Bitch." <laughs> and then Tyler gets a picture of himself eating the food taking a picture he's... of the food taking the pictures of the food. Yeah, he's yeah. not supposed to. Like, the, who got those pictures though? They literally took the, the picture right of like the first course or something. Yeah, it had yeah. to. Well, it was more than one yeah. picture. He did it like two oh, true. times, two three times. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, this makes him go even more like, oh my god, the chef hates me. He hates me. What am I gonna well, do? Like, <laughs> oh, and then whenever the dude bros saw this, like they started freaking out because they were like, bro, what, what the hell? How did they get this? And like, they um, they they I think they are trying to like talk like trying to like talk themselves down like, oh well like, like well like it's just uh like what they say like plausible pl plausible um plausible deniability yes. or like they they're just like well, we'll just eat it like, like it, we... yeah yeah uh the married couple okay we already talked about them yeah because she's like who's this woman and it's at this point i think margo goes and goes yeah she goes into the bathroom because she needs to smoke. Yeah, because she's starting yeah. to. She's getting angry. She got angry because because um. 
Tyler. Because of Tyler. Because, like, she's like, no, that's illegal. Like, they can't be just taking pictures without your permission like that. Like, like you can mm-hmm. do something, blah, blah, blah. And, like, he, and, like, that's whenever he gets angry and just like, you need to fucking shut up. She goes, who the fuck are you to tell me to shut up? And he goes, uh, maybe me the one, like, I'm the one who's fucking paying for everything. So just shut up and fucking eat your food. And then, like, he takes a bite and he's like, oh, my God, this shit's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so she goes and storms off to the bathroom and um to go smoke and when in the middle of her smoking the chef walks into the bathroom and he's like who are you you're not supposed to be here hey margo no who are you're you? not margo who are you <laughs> And uh, she, oh, and he also makes reference to the fact that she hasn't eaten any of the food up to this and he point. Goes, like, yeah. And he goes like, "Why?" And she goes, "I'm just not hungry. I'm full." <laughs> and and she and he goes like, "Well, no, you have to eat. You have to eat it." She goes, and she's like, "Um, I'm the one who gets to decide what the fuck I eat. Now get out of my way." And I was like, "Work, work, queen. You better work, queen. Love her." Did you know Emma Stone was originally supposed to be in that role? Oh. Emma Stone? Oh. I'm kind of glad that it wasn't. Originally, I knew honest. that. Yeah, same. I don't think she would have been same. able to to pull it off like, like, um, like, oh, gosh, names are, names escape me. Right like now. the girl from Split? You were, yeah, Anya, Anya. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anya Taylor-Joy. So... At this point, uh, they begin setting up for the fourth course, and mm-hmm. they put a giant tarp. Uh, yeah, tarp. We'll call yeah, it a tarp. It's a, it's a tarp. Down onto the floor. Uh, laid out perfectly, and um, so he gets the attention of the dining room. Uh, in the dining room, and he brings forward one of his sous chefs, Jeremy. Right? Yes. Yeah, yes. Jeremy Loudon. Um, he comes and has Jeremy come and stand in the middle of this tarp. And, oh, they have a whole bunch of, like, what is it, like, I guess you can call them, like, little bundles of twigs surrounding on the... Yeah, on the edges. I don't know. On just the natural. edges. Yeah, it's kind of like garnish. Yeah. Gotcha. Just okay. bigger. So he basically talks about how Jeremy has been working so hard to become just like he is and just as good of a talent uh, uh, a talented chef as he is. But uh, he, he's not he's not as good and he'll never be as good uh, a, a chef. And uh, meanwhile, Jeremy's just standing there basically at attention, just stone cold, just looking straight forward. He looks like he's about to cry, um, though. Yeah. Yeah. And so he's basically just roasting on Jeremy how he'll he will never get to to his skill level and that he is not a good chef. Like all the sacrifices you made to live this life and it wasn't even worth it. Pretty much. Yeah. Like, uh, like damn. damn, bro. So I think it's at this point, yeah, that he pretty much goes. Uh Jeremy, uh, I don't know where he gets it from. Where does he pull it? He pulls from? it out from like the. Uh, I think I think Behind the chef it? hands him the the gun. Yeah. So the all the other chefs in the kitchen like put up. Um... Oh the. Oh no! He actually has it behind his. his oh okay. Back. Like as he walks yeah, out. Yeah, and so yeah. Well, the the chefs don't put it up. Uh, it's the assistants that were standing around also roll down this tarp. In the window of the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. And Jeremy proceeds to take his uh, gun and unalive himself. Yeah. Well, after a long after a long speech of um, how oh, yeah. he being wants to. Back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Being roasted. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yes, and he falls into place onto the tarp. And this is the fourth course called the, the mess. mess. And I was like, oh. And so the food itself is um, it's uh, pressure cooked vegetables, 
bone marrow and uh, beef jus, which is supposed to look like uh, blood splattered. And it yep. says Rip Jeremy. At the back. <laughs> <laughs> it does. I was like, oh. But I love how professional the um cooks are when like they move the tarp and then the blood oh. splatters and then they just move it back and it's like we got to keep the food clean sanitation isn't highly important in the kitchen You're like okay at least they <laughs> take their job seriously enough to consider this yeah and that's just never people start now, freaking he just out himself. because like they said they like as soon as it happened like uh elsa was all like everybody stay in your seats everybody stay in your seats like trying to calm them down. And the critics like the critics like, no, it's just part of the it's show. Theatric. It's <laughs> not theatrical. It's, done. They just it's the drama. And they're like, oh my fucking god, is this real? It looks it's so a, real. I recognize the special effects. It's not real. Is that what she said? <laughs> I got her her hype man. Uh, Something like the, that. I think the movie actor does or no, no, he I think he actually thinks that it it actually Yeah, cuz then people are all like what the fuck is happening? Dude, they start freaking out and shit. What the fuck is going, fuck on? Fuck is going on? I love that. And song. so I think it's at this point that um oh, what's the married couple's names? Yeah. Uh, uh what's his name? J Oh, Richard and Anne. Oh, uh, they they're not. Except for they're not OK with. Yeah, with except them. for Tyler. Tyler's like the only one who's like perfectly calm about it. And it's just eating. He's yeah, it's re- everyone else is shocked, but he's like shocking. But that was wonderful or something like that. And, then, and I'm like, dude, you're a sociopath. Oh, yeah. Like, OK, so the, the meal, I think that there's there's like um a bone sitting in the middle of the dish and then there's some meat that's around there. I don't know what meat it is. I'm assuming it's lamb. Um, but there's meat around there or beef, a beef. And um and and then it has the the pressure the pressure cooked uh vegetables, which I think it's really funny because of the pressure of the the, the sous chef head. And then the 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 beef jus which looks like blood. Anyway, sorry, I had to describe the dish. No, you're good. That's perfect. Mm. Uh, so basically, the married couple are are done with it. They're like, okay, we're we're leaving. Uh, we're gonna go get on the boat, and um, so they, as they're trying to get up and leave, uh, a bunch of the, I guess, the help assistants yeah, the help. Um, block the entryway, and. Uh, and Elsa goes and and he's like she she's like will you please return to your seats and he's like no we're leaving we're getting on the next boat oh well there is no there is no boat to go back and he's like well fine I'll just call us a helicopter she's like oh that, that would be great if there were any phone service yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like and he's like all right fine you know what I, he, his wife's kind of freaking out he's like don't worry I'll hand, I'll handle this I'll handle it and she's like with which hand sir and I was like oh. Mm-hmm. Which with, and he's like, "What? Which hand are you gonna handle this with? Oh, your left or your right?" And she's like, "Well, if you're not gonna choose, I'm gonna choose for you." Left hand, and I was like, finger. "Oh!" <laughs> <laughs> she just dead. I love her yep. delivery, deadpan as fuck. Well, she love keeps it. that customer service voice, man. She does. <laughs> So they go and grab a, a meat cleaver. Grab Richard and a meat oh, cleaver. Shit. And chop off his finger. And then like people freak out and she's like, everybody calm down. <laughs> I love how and she's they, like trying to like her. like soothe the people freaking out over, you know. Yep, crowd control, kill the kindness, customer service skills. And how they're patching up the guy's finger. Like, they basically just get a big napkin and just wrap it around his hand. Yeah. yeah. And then <laughs> Elsa gets the ring and just, like, drops it. In she's like, she's like, your like, ring, sir. Ring, <laughs> or, like, <laughs> the ring, your husband's ring, ma'am. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the balls. The nerve. <laughs> she says, thank you. And then she says, you're welcome. And then oh my God. <laughs> And then after that is the is the palate the, the palate cleanser, which is a, a wild bergamot and red clover tea. And while this is happening, um, I think that's whenever the, the he talks about 
the uh with Margo. Huh? He talks to Margo. Yes, he does talk to Margo. Um, He's like, Who are you? Are you one of us? Are you one of them? I was like, What the hell? Yes. Do you, do you serve or, or are you, you be uh, or served? are you a taker? Are you a server or are you a taker? You're a taker. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And so he's like, well, uh, you'll have to make that uh, decision by the end of the next course. Oh, course? by by the end of this break, because we take a 15 minute break, and you have until the end of this timer to do that and then during this during this break is whenever I, he makes a speech about um his investor and stuff like that gotcha so yeah the palate cleanser um what happens during this is that's this whenever when the, the investor shows huh? up? what or is that the next course <laughs> Um, so during the speech, he's talking about his angel investor and how over the years, like each one of his customers has kind of like killed his passion for cooking and like how his investor, um, is telling him to like, uh, change the menu. And then he gets really angry mm -hmm. and he goes, you do not change the menu at Hawthorne's. And then, like, it, it shows it shows the investor in angel wings hanging over the ocean. And they slowly lower him into the ocean and drown him. And, like, in the middle of the speech, in the middle of the speech, Tyler, think, like, yeah. like, he goes, excuse me, chef, is that bergamot I'm tasting? And he says, and, like, he just, like, looks so done at this point. He's like, Yes. Good job. <laughs> he was like, yes, it is. Try to keep up. <laughs> I, he also takes this time to kind of go up to each table and kind of air out why he has mm -hmm. them there or like what he dislikes mm -hmm. about yeah. them. So the food critic's husband, he hates because he enables her to basically go and destroy. Yeah careers and yeah, he, whatever it's, yeah. it's literally like i'm gonna f i'm gonna destroy this person's career and she's like and he's like yeah babe they're shit go destroy him like like it's like no he goes up he goes up and says like how she how she um how you know she's one of the biggest food critics in the world and all she does is go and destroy people's careers with the words that she says about them and like she tries to defend herself and then that's whenever he goes to the husband and he goes like and then you enable her you enable this horrible horrible um behavior and then he then he talks about the the money embezzlement from the guys the he go well he goes to the married yeah. couple first the regulars and he's like oh well how many times uh, you don't appreciate my food. How many times have you been here in the last five years? Uh, Eleven times. Uh, people would be lucky to 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 have eaten here yes, at least and once. He goes, in their and he goes life. like, name name one of my dishes from the last from the last time you were here. And he's just like, or any. And then of the he, they're like, oh oh oh. He goes, name one, name one from the last time, or name one from any of the other times. And he goes, you're ungrateful. <laughs> and I was like, damn. She says cod, and he was like, he was like, cod. He goes, it was halibut, you dumbass. <laughs> I think he says donkey. Uh, yeah, he says like donkey. Yeah, he like says he, donkey. he fucking turned himself into Gordon Ramsay for a minute. He was just all like, it was halibut, you Jesus. donkey. And I was like, <laughs> and I was like, Damn. what a for what a little Easter egg he did there. Yeah, and then that's when the angel investor table shows up. Um, and then he also goes into the movie mm -hmm. right after that, the the one that he took mm -hmm. time off. Um, oh yeah, he says it in that in that little spiel. Mm -hmm. And so at this point, at the end of the palate cleanser, he goes into his office and he has a conversation with Margot. Mm -hmm. And they basically uh. Oh, she reveals how she knows um, Richard. Yes. Oh, yeah. Mm. 
Do we weirdo. want? We don't need to go into super detail about that. That's... Um, it turns out it's Margot is a um. She's yeah. Escort. She's a no. Well, she's a she's a customer service. She's representative. a she's a service worker. An, she's an a service adult worker. service worker. We'll say it like that. Yes. An adult so. service worker, and she was hired okay. by him to sit there and do nothing while he did something. Well, you know, while he helped himself. And, and and just fucking weird without breaking, without eye, breaking contact. eye contact Uh-oh. and like and I'm like I'm like okay okay so that's not so Might bad well. like I was like you know what like I mm-hmm. could do that but it was the extra details for me that um, did it and um it was uh, she says like I had to she- sit there and to pretend to be his daughter and tell him that I love him and that, and that he was, he was a, good, a man. good man and I was like. Ugh! Yeah. That's some issues to unpack there, but um, we're not therapists. I, I was like, <laughs> I, was, I was like, I was like, um, we're not just gonna blow past this. Like, you just didn't say what you just said. Like, <laughs> and the chef, the chef says, ah, oh, so he's a romantic. And I was like, oh my god, please stop. <laughs> and like, that's I think I... he was doing it to kind of like, like lighten the mood. That's what I'm gonna take it as, and that's how like and and then I'm gonna I'm gonna keep myself well, convinced didn't. that way because because whenever he said that well, I kind of laughed I was like oh! <laughs> but he said it he said it with the same face he says with everything else he is serious like he, his facial expression hardly ever changes in this oh movie. except for one scene um, it was my favorite also, scene yeah mm-hmm. and yeah. so he goes and he says how he uh. He doesn't enjoy cooking anymore. He's lost his passion for it. That loving feeling, his passion, yeah, and how he kind of just goes through and and does it. And he asks her if she does like enjoys what she does, the service that she provides. Mm-hmm. And I don't remember. She how said that yes. Kind of came out. She she enjoys it, okay. except for that one time. Like she was very uncomfortable. But he's basically saying how he misses the feeling of of enjoying what he does, um, and so I don't think that she ever like makes a like clear decision on wh- whether she's a taker she or doesn't, a server. She doesn't point, make though. the decision, but he he goes because uh, well she goes just like like she goes we're not because he also tells them that they're all gonna die tonight. Like he tells him during the spiel that that wow. that we're gonna die tonight, all of us, and even the um, what is it? The um, even the employees are like, yeah, we're gonna die, and so she she tells him she goes like, we we you really don't have to die, we don't have to do this, and he goes, no, yeah, yeah, we do. And he asked her, like, so have you made a decision <laughs> if you are one of them or one of us? And she doesn't say anything. And he goes, like, I believe you're one of us. You are a service worker. You you mm-hmm. do services for ungrateful people who just take and take and take and take. And Period. I'm all like, well, you know, whenever he said that, I was like, man, I feel that. I feel that deep in my fucking bones. <laughs> As, you know, as, as a, a service food worker service for worker, years. I was a food service worker. I still work with food. And I'm a fucking service. <laughs> I'm a fucking service worker for this I was a, I, I was a merchandise service worker. I was a food service worker. I was the whole work. So, so you know, I went I from that. food service to human services. And the human services that I do is serving food. So... <laughs> But I get paid a better I get paid better hourly wage for it and work less hours yeah. and it's less taxing. But I'm still doing basically the same job I've been doing since I was 18. And I, I feel that. I feel what he's saying so bad. I was like, man, the amount of times I wanted to hit one of these customers. <laughs> I was like, just fuck them <laughs> up. If I, I need this job, so you're lucky. And then they yell at you about stuff you have no control over because it's involved with a third party that has nothing to do with your oh, store. Yep. Yeah, no, oh, yeah. no. I think the worst thing that ever happened, it didn't even happen to me, but I was going to get arrested for it. Um, 
I was working, it was whenever I was working at a local theme park. And mm-hmm. <laughs> we only have two here, so take a guess. And, um, yeah. And I was working in one of the bars, and the bar is connected to a pizza place. And so there's a bar, there's um, a window that leads outside where we can serve people from outside. And then there's a window that is facing inside. And we have to have all the windows open. We can't have any of the shutters closed, period. So they made a rule to where it didn't matter if you were refilling the cup or getting food, you still have to wait in line. You can't cut in line even if you're going to refill a cup because they have, you know, the souvenir cups that you can refill. Um, as long as you have the wristband and you can get it, like, I think it was like three, five dollars, three to five dollars. And then you can get free refills all day. And, um, anybody who's customers of this theme park or workers, you now know where I used to work. (laughs) Um, (laughs) and this one guy got really fucking angry and threw his soda on the team lead that was in charge that day. My team lead, which me and the other person were both team leads at this time. So we were both working there. But she had uh, seniority over me because she had been there longer. Um, She had to hold me back because I climbed up onto the kegerators to jump over that bar to fuck this man up. I was ready to throw hands because the team lead that he threw that soda on was one of the sweetest persons like you could ever fucking meet. Like he never got mad at anybody. He like, like I could talk, talk so much good about this kid. And like, and when I say kid, I mean kid because a lot of the people who work in, in this park are 16 and up. So, and I think he just turned 18, 19. Like he was a child in my eyes. And, and I was like, how dare you do this? And I was, I was going to get, I was going to get thrown in jail because I was going to fuck this guy up. I was like, how dare you do this to him? Mind you, the guy got kicked out of the park and I think he's actually banned from the park for doing that. Um, but I feel like that's um, less than what he deserves. A hundred percent. And like, I had to like go sit in the admin office, like the employee admin office, basically freaking, I'm gonna, I got sent to the principal's office because, oh, I, ooh. <laughs> so I understand this chef's, um, <laughs> this chef's hatred for yeah. customers, for and terrible like, customers. Exactly. Customers. And I was like, you don't, I was just like, you know what? We could charge you. We could charge you for every free refill, for every refill that you do on this cup. But, you know, we're giving it to you basically for free because I know you're going to fucking refill that cup like 10 fucking times. Anyway, so, <laughs> back to the movie. Let's reel it back in. No, you're good. No, it, I think that's what this movie is like about. Like, it, it takes Dude, you on a fucking I was just like, oh. like, yeah. 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 I was like horrible <laughs> flashbacks. We had to dedicate an episode to like our customer service. Oh, customer service horror oh. stories. <laughs> For real. Because my so. stories would just deal with the other park that housekeeper did not work at, but I did. Oh, God. <laughs> oh what what employees like to call Slave World? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Yes. They call yes. it Slave okay. World, dude. <laughs> And even some, even, anyway. even the other empl- like the other parks employees would mm. call it Slave World. Like, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Because that I, was a name. Because was that name park it. was like treated their employees worse than the park that I worked at. And I was like, damn. <laughs> I can concur at the time, yes. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> customer service sucks. <laughs> but yes customers be better be better please and and you'll know you'll know what customers actually work or have worked in customer service and which ones Mm -hmm. haven't by Mm -hmm. the way that they treat the employees 100 percent. like you know right away and like honestly i feel like it should be a law that everybody (laughs) should work at least one month just one that's all you need one month in a customer service job and i feel like this world this world would be a better place I would, yeah. I no, would say one, one month. Year. 
No, a month is I all you need. Two I, years. I, <laughs> they suffer bro, as I much put as up I did. With, I, I'm still putting up with it now. I'm still working customer service, basically. I did. T- I did t- over ten. And then years. I decided to take up the customer service job for this fucking production company. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I did. Wow. <laughs> so it's, it's, <laughs> oof. oof. I just, I guess I'm a masochist. I like it, I guess. But, <laughs> yeah. but like, like all you need is a month, not even. Like, there's been times where, like, and, no, you know what? Work until you break down in the walk in. Yes. Just work until your <laughs> yes. first breakdown in the walk-in, in that giant freezer where they keep all the food. Once that happens, oh, God. then you'll know the pain, and then you continue working as whatever you did before, like 100%. You'll, you'll, you'll appreciate what they do, because they're like, mm, no, it's a low, um, what was it, what is it? Low um, talent job. And I'm all like, mm. low talent, but high fucking labor, bitch. You're on your feet for 13 hours a day. Hell, no, it's a lot of talent. There's a lot of talent that goes into customer service, and y'all don't know. <laughs> y'all don't even know. Anyway, back to uh... a. <laughs> yeah, we're um, we were... So now we are at um, the guests are all escorted this outside. This is the next yes. course. Oh, yeah. Called... Yes. And. Um, Yes. Uh, Man's Folly, yeah. This uh, course is led by the other sous chef. uh, Catherine. Not Rachel. What's her name? I love her. Yes. So Catherine goes up and talks about uh, how what's inspired this course that she has chosen, I believe. It's come out. It comes out at this point. Um, So she talks about how uh, the chef uh, tried to uh, make passes. N- n- she says it a little more bluntly, but yes. yeah. So yes. I like it how it says here. Um, um, he wanted to have sexual relations with her. <laughs> that that works. Yeah. And because she refused his advances, uh, he uh, didn't fire her, but he would. He kept her on and didn't speak or look at her mm-hmm. for eight months. Like, speak directly to her or look at her for eight months. And she says, well, he can do that. That he's the star. He can do I that. I feel like that was, like, just salty. And like, that was just petty in her side. And I live for it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he... She pulls out some kitchen scissors and he comes up to her and he allows her to stab him in the thigh um and he basically apologizes says i'm sorry and then she kind of just walks away with a huge ass smile on her face oh and so all the men are basically given the opportunity to try yeah, it to was like, run. You have like a 45 second head start. And as soon as he says like 45 second, one dude just fucking books it. He fucking books, books it. Yeah. it. <laughs> 45 seconds. Oh, oh, he didn't even let me finish. Okay, <laughs> starting now. <laughs> and on the men start running while, the, while they're like, ladies, let's go back Except inside for Tyler. and have a drink. He stays right there. And then they're like, you can go. Yeah. And he just kind of walks off. Like, he doesn't even run. And he doesn't even walk, like, away. He stays on the vicinity of the freaking restaurant. Yeah. And As they're the eating. <laughs> <laughs> like, so what, what are you guys doing in there? What kind of food are you eating? Why do you get all that oh, cool yeah. food and I don't? God, I but that part was so fucking much. funny. No, my favorite part of the whole thing, like, uh, <laughs> there's like a whole t- part where they're talking, but I'm gonna skip past that real quick because I really want to say this part. It, the, the the there was one that was hiding in the chicken coop, and I was like, oh, that's kind of smart. <laughs> I was just like, oh, maybe they might not think, <laughs> they might not think to to look in there, and then you just look see there. like the little screen open. Hold on, give me a second. 
Oh. That was abrupt. A child. Gotcha. Um, I think we no, interrupt this program we'll to announce that a housekeeper is becoming a parent. I am a parent. <laughs> <laughs> I just meant like you had to go in. I was like, maybe, maybe it's taking care of your kid. Yeah. Child. Child. Anyways, uh, the chicken coop. Hold on. He's, he's still here. Give me a second. Oh, Hold not, on. Not back yet. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Take your time. Oompa Loompa Doopa Dee Doo. I'm fucking dumb as shit. How about you? You. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the child is going to bed. <laughs> the child. The, tri- the child. Um, his birthday party is tomorrow, no. so he's really excited about it. Oh, and then the furry baby's starting to come in. Anyway, so that the chicken coop. <laughs> You um you see like the little like wire window open up and then just like a hand like goes through with like a little Holding like a thing of food and they're yeah. like here for the last survivor that hadn't gotten caught yet and I was like what? <laughs> I was like damn. damn okay now let's reel it back to whenever the girls were eating because that was like, that was just my favorite like part of that whole freaking that was... meal what. Uh, so they serve the 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 ladies um, foam. Oh, oh, that was the sea foam one. That was the foam one. Yeah. So it was it was a cucumber yeah. thing with like like charred lace and milk snow. That was the one. Yeah. That, okay. okay. Sorry, yeah. I said that that was like the second one, but no, that one wasn't. And um, it was really funny because like she's like crying because she was just like. She was like, yeah, like, I made this dish. And they're like, oh, it's amazing. It's wonderful. And she goes, it doesn't fucking matter now. <laughs> like, could the whole, everyone dies at the end was her. And they're like, like, oh, like, what, like well, how about we not die? She goes, actually, <laughs> that was my idea, too. <laughs> and I was like, damn. damn. <laughs> yeah. I- because like they're trying to like make an attempt to kind of like uh, get personal with her and like Bargain. oh yeah and 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 she's like oh well we don't really have to all die oh so, that was yeah we idea. do <laughs> oh and yeah. then they're all like oh the food is really good oh it's delicious it's scrumptious and then, it's like, decadent and I'm imagining there's like a board meeting <laughs> where they're like okay we're gonna plan out this immaculate dish it's like this whole menu what do we do to tie it all together and then everyone's bitching ideas and she goes what if we all just die at the end. And then everyone else is just like, no, that's absurd. And then the yes. head chef is just like, that is the smartest idea I've heard all day. Let's no, do it. No, what I love, uh, yeah, that too. But I, I fucking love the the uh, the food critic. She's like, I don't even like lace, but this is amazing. And I'm all like, you don't, that's like the worst. <laughs> that's like the worst compliment. You never say something negative before the compliment <laughs> because it just cancels each other out. Oh no! Or what's oh, even no, better? She's like, you know, if, we, if you let us go, it's like if you let us go, I'll make you famous. <laughs> I'll get you a whole like, restaurant oh, yeah? and everything. Oh yeah, you'll do that. She's like, uh huh, uh huh. She's like, mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, <laughs> she's like, mm, no thanks. <laughs> We're dying. How would that be useful to me? <laughs> she just sitting there with a smile on her face, kind of just watching everyone eat, like elbows on the table, kind of like, hmm. <laughs> and I was like, girl, work. She's serving and we're and then, eating. Um, and then uh, after that, the men are let back in and like Tyler goes straight into like getting the leftovers and stuffing his face with them. He wants to try the food. Yeah. And I was like, wow. And so this is at the point that uh, the chef comes out and uh, he says, before we can start the next course, we have an issue to deal with. <laughs> and he walks directly up to Tyler, who's Ooh. still like, oh, no, remember Marco gets called into <laughs> the. 
Margo gets called into the the kitchen. Mm. And like and like at no, I thought I'm, like I'm she watching. did. Like she gets called into the kitchen as well. Oh, okay. I have the movie in front of me. It's uh that isn't uh that was like whenever they were having the conversation about uh oh, okay. okay taker okay, okay. or server. You're, you're, um so he the chef comes up and says basically tells Tyler, you know uh, what does he say? What are you doing on a A blind what are you doing here? Oh, what were you told about beforehand about this? He's like, oh, well, it's going to be the best food ever. And... That everybody was going to die. And everyone's going to die. Yeah, he yeah so he was and in then... on it from the start. Oh, and Margo, her face is just, like, stunned. Mm-hmm. She gets up and slaps him, too. And... S- she well, slaps, on, no, on. this time okay, she punches on. him. Hold on, hold on. So, so he, says to, he says to Tyler that, oh, well, um... So what happened to your original date? That was my girlfriend. We broke up. And, and she broke up with me. So you invited you Ms. Margo instead. You hired her services. Why? Hired your services, yes. And he says, why did you do that? Because you're not allowed to change the seating or Oh, you can't eat. You're not like allowed that? to No, you're not allowed to. For one. Yeah, it's not a party of one, yeah. Yeah, you have to have two people. Yeah. So, yeah. That's when she gets up and punches him in. <laughs> and fun fact, that punch and the slap she did she did to him earlier were all a hundred percent legit. She literally she literally slapped the shit out of him when he was talking down to her earlier. And then he li- then she literally leaned over and punched him in the face. Cause she asked, I'm like, hey, would you mind if I lean over and actually punch you in the face? He's like, Yeah, go for it. And it was a conversation between her and him and then the director and then they're all game for it and she leans over and socks him right in the face and I'm like oh fuck that they looks like it did her because <laughs> she socks him in the fucking face and I'm like Tyler yeah, deserved that and I was like what a dick <laughs> mm-hmm. so basically he uh, the chef says how he had been conversating with Tyler for eight months and that um, he brought him into his world. And he's like, why Why do you think I would do this? And he's like, Tyler's like, oh, well, because I know a lot about food. It's like, yeah, yeah, you do. You know way more than any of these people. Um, you're able to pick out the, the yeah, palate cleanser. Like, you were able to even, uh, and... pick out the fucking bergamot, for God's sakes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he's like, you're not, uh, you don't belong out here. You're a cook, and cooks belong in the kitchen. He brings out a little chef's coat, writes his mm-hmm. name in Sharpie <laughs> on the coat. He's like, I'll even personalize yes. it for you. He's like, make us He's a dish. Like, <laughs> He's like, what do you need? What do you need? We have everything. What do you need? Anything. We have everything. And he's yes. just like, oh, 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 oh. lamb. Get the man some lamb. <laughs> Leeks. Leeks. Scallops. Sca- uh, <laughs> Scal- original. Shallots. Shallots. And he's like, hmm. And then like he like, and he's like, everybody stand around. He's the genius here. Let's watch how the genius works. And like, he's oh. like, hmm. A type of chopping technique that we've never seen before. Quite unique. <laughs> <laughs> dead. I was, like, mm. I was dead. I'm like, damn, read the and bitch. Then like, what read him the filth. <laughs> butter. Get the man some butter. <laughs> butter. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> he's like, are you no, done? No, no, no. Like, as he's done. cooking it, he's just like, I think it's done. Is it done? Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm thinking like that's not long dude, enough. And to it cook was lamb, <laughs> and lamb and takes the sh- a minute to cook and the, too. Yeah, and the fucking chef took a bite of raw. And he's just like, "This is the lamb. worst yes. shit that I've ever had. Worst piece in of my shit. life." And you just see Tyler just like sobbing. Yes, read him. <laughs> he's destroyed. Like his whole life is shattered to pieces. <laughs> <And> like, <laughs> 
He basically just reads in the film say he ain't worth so, shit. So <laughs> it's, and, and they bring up they, yeah, they bring up that like it's a, like it's an actual course, but it's not. It is and then as underneath Tyler's it, bullshit. underneath it, it says <laughs> dish of undercooked lamb in an inedible shallot leek butter sauce. <laughs> no cohesion. Yeah, utter, utter lack, lack of cohesion. Of cohesion. <laughs> <laughs> Even I was like, damn. Shit. And then the chef yeah. puts him on blast and says, like, um. Uh, you're too up. Like he's just—he's not a genius about food, and he's just obsessed with the wrong things about food. Yeah, he basically says how he take—he takes the mystery out of their arts, and that you know, he doesn't. Yeah, pretty much. To be there. And then he whispers <laughs> something in Tyler's ear as he takes off the the chef's coat, and Tyler's like crying, and then walks off. I mean, I, I mean, we can all assume what he's fucking, what the chef tells him. <laughs> we could and probably then, assume what he says. Yeah. Yeah. And then the next part, he's shit. just like, um, unfortunately, um, our next dish can't be served until, um, we, we, we need a barrel and, um, uh, my lovely assistant didn't get it. So, we need someone to go get it and tells Margo to go get it. And then, yeah. of course, freaking Elsa gets all freaking salty. <laughs> yeah. So she he tells her that it's out um, by by the by the smoke, by the oh, smokehouse, by the meat aging smokehouse okay. place. Oh. And as she goes out there. Um, you know, everybody's after Elsa hesitantly yeah, gives she her the keys. Starts like she doesn't even go to Smoko, she goes to the chef's uh house. Which no one, not even the employees were allowed in there. And Elsa follows mm-hmm. her there. And attacks her, basically. I'm not she's being like, replaced. You're not going to replace me. <laughs> um, yeah, so they, they end up fighting and it, they tussle around. Um, Margot's able to get the knife from her and And then she's just all like, in the I didn't forget the barrel. He did it. Tell me. And I was like, Okay. <laughs> And so she, after she's uh, Elsa's dead, she goes into his room, and his room is pretty bare, but there are a couple. It pictures. was in the safe room. Yeah, it's not in his Isn't actual room. It's in the. It's in the. It's in the oh. bunker. Because he has a little bunker in behind the the okay. silver door. The... Oh, by the way, his house gotcha. is set up exactly like the restaurant, except there's a bed. Yeah. Like, so, like, there's, like, there's the dining room, which has, like, all the tables, and then it has the kitchen, but then off on the side, like, where, like, the, like, where the entry door and, like, the bathroom hallway is, there's a bed, like, and that's how the, 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 the house is laid out, and then there's a silver door somewhere in that room as well that Margot goes to open. And that's the bunker. Okay. So there is a few um, like pictures kind of framed of like him starting the business and him getting like his first like newspaper article, I guess. Um, but there's also uh, another picture that's framed I think and it's like it's set on a table. Uh, yes. Yes, hold on. Just one second. I'm gonna go to the movie too. Bye, Trixie. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's Employee of the Month, 1987, and he is basically he looks su- uh, he's like young, super young at this point. He's wearing a little uh, kiss the cook uh, apron and he's flipping a burger, and he's smiling. Yeah, he looks happy. 
Um, that comes into play later. So, uh, she, uh, Margo goes and finds a radio uh, that's also in that in the same room. Um, you don't really get to see her call for help, but it's assumed that she that's what she's doing um, when she gets going through the frequencies. And then they bring out a birthday cake for the what's his, the one of the dude Bryce, bros, yeah. Think. Yeah. Oh god, it was so funny. They're like, "You told him it's my birthday." And then they're like, "It was funny 4 hours ago." <laughs> it seemed funny 3 hours ago. Yeah, it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a pretty nice looking cake. Like it looks pretty simple, but then there's like it's, this crown it's thing. Sugar. On it's top. sugar. Sure it's sugar. It's melted sugar and they put it like over something for as a mold and just let it dry and then put it on top. Mm. I was like, "I want to eat that cake, but I might risk dying not yeah. because of the cake yeah. just because of the situation and then margo <laughs> brings the thing yeah the barrel yeah yeah he just chucks it on the ground and, and then like, the Here's your goes barrel. and talks to her <laughs> like explaining how he was a monster um mm-hmm. and it's at this point that uh the, the, they're overlooking the ocean in their dining room, and in the back you can see a boat that's labeled a uh, Coast Guard. Probably Coast Guard. Um, and so a guy comes in. Uh, Dale. Wearing a hat. Yeah, his name was Dale. Okay. Dale comes in, and uh, he looks like he's checking things out. And before he walks in, they get... They try to make That's everything normal. look nice. They they clean up, uh, yeah, everyone's face. Uh, they put the what's his name so, uh, hand into a, like a little arm sling and like, um, just trying to make it look presentable. Uh, so Dale comes in and they they're he's like, did somebody call for a mayday or a like, disturbance? We we had a disturbance you know and they're like no 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 everything's going fine you know this is just a regular dinner service you're interrupting a meal and and so dale ends up recognizing yeah. the movie star he's like oh i loved you in that movie and like in the, <laughs> the one that's shit they, they the mentioned Dr. earlier Feel Good or some shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah dr sunshine and the chef's like oh would you would you like an autograph we can get get you an autograph and he's like, oh, well, yeah, that would be great. And, you know, so um, he goes and he makes like he's making a signature. Of course, he does the, you know, typical movie thing that, you know, get help instead of actually like, help signing us. it. He's just like, put your hands up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, pulls out, uh, Dale pulls out a gun and like is pointing his gun at everyone and... What is he, he doing? Goes to light the oh, candle he goes to light the, a that candle, the chef right? um, uh, put out during his little spiel about him being a monster. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so, yeah, Dale is part uh, in on it. Uh, not clear whether or not he's an actual yeah, chef. They, yeah. Oh, he is, because he they takes put off. On a, uh, uh, a chef's coat. Chef's little thing jacket and then the chef gets upset at margo and says like oh you're not one of us you're a taker like you're gonna die with them instead of with us and yeah and it's at this point that she's i guess inspired Mm -hmm. she stands up and claps at this point, she's like, if I'm going to fucking die, I can't. I mean, if this fails, oh, For well, real. I got nothing to lose. <laughs> and so she gets the attention of everyone. And they all kind like, of stop and look at her. Doing? Like, he had that face of, how dare you? <laughs> she says, I, I would like, like to send it food. back. Like to send it back. He's like, yes. "What did you say?" What? Okay, hold up, hold up. Pause it for a second. Sorry, my bad. I'm trying to like open noise? up these paper bags. 
I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll stop. I'm done oh. gluing Master Chief's face onto these bags, but I'm trying to open them so that I can start putting the, the favors. Almost there. We're almost there. Mm-hmm. My bad. <laughs> um, you're good. Yeah. So they get um. She basically says how he's taken the joy out of cooking, yeah. and that every dish that he's served is some intellectual exercise. And it's not really anything that you it's not would want to food. sit and enjoy. Um, yeah. It it oh it tastes like it was made with no love. And he's like, that's ridiculous. We always cook with love. <laughs> and she goes, in fact, I'm ingredient. still hungry. He goes, you're still hungry? Yes. Well, before that, he's like. Um, with the whole love thing, he's like, love's the most important ingredient, right? Yes, chef. Is that yeah, you don't cook chef. with love. Ooh. You cook with obsession. Yeah, she says that. Mm-hmm. And she goes, in fact, Ooh. I'm still hungry. You're hungry? Yeah, I'm starving. You are. What Fucking starving. Do <laughs> what do you have? Anything. Everything. We, can, we have anything. <laughs> You know what I want? A cheeseburger. A cheeseburger. And she goes like, I don't want... No, no, she goes like, I don't want some stupid fancy bullshit. I want a nice... Fancy deconstructed cheeseburger. I want a nice Like one that you get from a fucking... uh, Like a fast food restaurant. And he goes like, oh, I'll get you the most greasiest... uh, Bun soggy burger you could possibly ever think of. It's like I think you can. What kind of cheese? <laughs> American. He's the like, now I want American cheese. cheese. He's yeah. like, that's the best cheese to use. Cause that's the, cause that's the, that doesn't split when it melts. Yeah, it melts perfectly. He's like, would you like? He's like, he goes, does it come with fries? Cream, crinkle cut. And then or, they ask or, her, um, yeah, Julian. Julian. And I think she says like crinkle Julian. cut. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, she doesn't really say, but she's like, "Oh, oh how, so what's this gonna cost He's me? Like nine how much is gonna set me back? Set me back. Nine ninety five, doesn't he? Nine ninety five. I'm looking at it. Yeah, because she ends up giving him a ten. Yeah. You right? You right. Um, so yeah, yeah, they. They show him making what looks to be Bro, the most delicious burger I've ever so seen. Good. God, I never wanted a cheeseburger like the, in my life. I never wanted like to go he, to a burger he, boy in my he life. He freaking <laughs> like cut those onions so thin, and he put them on top of the burger as the burger was cooking, and then flipped it with the onions on top. And I was like, <gasps> "Those onions flipped are going to be perfectly oh. caramelized with the fucking burger juice." The fuck. <laughs> And then he put mm-hmm. two slices and it's of a American double cheese on top burger. Of the burger. I was like, "Bitch!" And yeah. this oh. is like, this is like one of the only times you you don't. He's not like he doesn't have the same grimace that he has in this entire movie. Like he you, looks like he's actually see, enjoying himself. Like, he has a smile on his face. He's like, "I see a smile." And I'm all like, and it's like, oh. yes. like at that point, like like I was watching, I was like, "Oh." No, he's not such a bad guy. Yeah. He just forgot how to love. No, like no, no, no. I wasn't guy. like that, but I was like, oh yeah. my god, like he found his joy in cooking again. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta carry out the plan. And she's just sitting and there so watching the him chefs. cook it from All afar. The yeah. And oh, yeah, he puts this burger. He puts. Oh, he mm-hmm. makes two uh, two patty, double patty. Um, but he makes them the same way, so he stacks the onion oh, on the top of the other pickles. Well, I just noticed onion, that them meat, cut pickles cheese on, on top of the other. Oh. And then he puts the burger together, and he like pu- pushes it down to make sure, like, compress it a little Jesus. bit. You see all the fucking grease, and it's just crinkle cut. Gushing he put off the, of this thing. the best freaking fries for a burger is crinkle, in my opinion, crinkle cut fucking fries. And then he serves so it to good. her. And so she, he serves it directly to her, yeah. 
and he smiles. she goes, she takes one uh, bite, and she says, smiles. Hmm. I'm sorry. And then she's no, like, one. after like, what, two bite. bites? She's just like, she's like, bite. now that is a burger. I one think my eyes, my eyes are bigger than my stomach. Yeah. <laughs> I think she's like, now this is a cheeseburger. A cheeseburger. But yeah, she goes, my unfortunately, eyes my eyes my are stomach. bigger than my stomach. Yeah. And he, Can I get this he takes go? it and packages it. Like, he looks so sad for a minute. <laughs> and he goes like, yeah, I oh, no, There was a pause and her look on her face was like, there was a pause and the look on her face is like, is this actually going to work? Dude, no, is you it, see him go gonna work? <laughs> like, oh shit. And he goes like, yeah, just give me like his face goes, oh shit. And then it goes to supplemental course, a cheeseburger, just it's- a well-made cheeseburger. And he packages it for her himself. And then gives her a um, <laughs> gives her a uh, a souvenir bag, a gift bag. Gift bag. Yeah. What was in so the gift, the gift bag? bag has um, like some candies in it. Uh, they they tell because like they let them open up the what's in the bag. So like there's candies in it and like I think like oh, um right. something else. I think there yeah. So it it has courses. a list of of um like where they got all the wine, um all of the ingredients that they used. They did say how he made it, but they had like all the ingredients and where they researched the ingredients from for the course. Like there's like a whole like pamphlet of it, and then like the partners, the, the partnerships that that the restaurant has as well. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, she, Margo gets up, and like she like she's taking her she time pulls out walking a tin. towards the she door. She pulls out a tin and, and puts she it on looks the table, around. and she goes, "Thank you for the great meal." Oh yeah. I think. Hold on. Forgot about that. Yeah, she does. She does. Um, so yeah, they. Uh, she she puts the money down and she goes and she looks around at all the other guests and then he. Like, she like waves her hand. Kind of like go, you like go, yes. And she's like, oh, me, get out of here. <laughs> You're the only ones getting out of this. And uh, <laughs> she just walks out. They let her. They open the door for her. They. I love her expression because she's like, okay, I'm leaving. And then she just put, then she just nicely walks out. And then when she walks out and the door closes, she fucking books it. She's <laughs> like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> she wastes no time. She's like, I'm not waiting for them to come after me. She's like, fuck this shit. To I'm the, out. To the boat. She books it <laughs> to the boat and tries to start it while, while they, they start finish, serving while dessert. They do the finish, the last course. They put one of the the investors' fingers into the bag. Too. Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! No, they they put they put not the investor, oh, no. the, the husband, the husband. Doug Varick? No, Doug Varick is the, the investor, investor. Died. Oh, Doug Varick's finger and a copy of tonight's menu. Yeah. And then they throw their fucking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They all pay for the meal. Yeah. They yes. still have to pay. <laughs> they just I was like, we're about to die, off. and you want me to? Am I'll be like, you're, I'm gonna die here. Oh, and you I still love, want me to I love the actor, pay? like because the the his assistant was just like, no, I'm leaving. I'm gonna be part of this. Like, I'm gonna go into this other company and like do this, this, that. And he's like, no, 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 you're not leaving. You're not leaving. And then, like in this scene, like as he like puts his card down, he's like, I told you, you weren't leaving. And I was like, damn. Yeah. And then she's also, oh yeah, she also was just like, yeah, I've been stealing money from you. And he goes like, yeah, I know you have. And she goes like, I know you know. <laughs> like, <laughs> so they prepare the la- the final course. It's uh, they are basically spreading out um. It's deconstructed stuff smog. all over. <laughs> yeah, it's a deconstructed. It smog. looks like a fiasco, and I, of course, referring to the SpongeBob episode. Yeah. So, 
<laughs> just like let's make the floor look nice. I'm like, oh, they're putting ingredients on the floor. Itself. Yeah. So How the thing that they're wait. the first thing that they do is they get a bowl of it. What looks like um, I, I'm assuming it's gunpowder, or it's very. It looks I'm like graham. Cracker, I thought it was graham, but cracker. I'm like graham cracker doesn't it's graham cracker. Fire like that. Well, no, it was no. graham cracker. So, well, Unless they okay, mix so it like with something, bowl, but it was But then cracker. they also put actual graham crackers. Because like, I saw them, I'm watching the scene now as they're like throwing yeah. the shit on the ground. And then they like put like these sauces everywhere and puts it on like the tables and the floors and everything. And then they get these like necklaces of marshmallows and put them like... Yeah, that's necklaces fair. Necklaces is underselling it, I think. They... It's like, it's like a, a shawl poncho of, of marshmallows. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> a poncho works. Poncho That's pretty relatable. With matching yeah, chocolate, chocolate fences. fences, and then the fucking uh, like wine yeah. concierge is fucking like pouring wine everywhere on the floor. He is. He's just like fuck this shit. He's like, I'm gonna drink until I die. Just like the mother who's passed out on the table in the corner. Yes. <laughs> like at this point, she's just gone. Oh, and then they get, and then they Lord. get giant fucking branches with giant marshmallows at the end of them, and put them right in the middle of the room. And then he's just all like, "Yeah." And he's just like, "Yeah, I'm gonna do a playful rendition of of a uh, classic um, dessert." The s'more, the most offensive assault on the human palate ever contrived. Contrive. And I was like, but I like a s'more. <laughs> I was so... Yeah, it's all thing about like, how chocolate is oh, acquired true. through unethical means. Yeah. And I was like, but oh, like, I see My first initial thought was just like, but s'mores are delicious. <laughs> I think you're right because yeah, all he does to set this thing off was a, like a coal. Yeah, fumble. like cause, yeah, he goes into the oven from like the oven, grabs the coal grabs with, with his, his bare, bare hand, hand, and then just throws it in the middle of the freaking ground. Oh my god, the giant marshmallows have the Hawthorne no, label like... on them. Oh, uh-huh. they, they do. He's like, I love you all. It's like, we love you, Chef. And then catches the Nick plates all. on fire. And while this is all happening, Margot gets finds a boat. The mm-hmm. boat, the Coast Guard, I think, the brought, Coast Guard. guy brought. Um, mm-hmm. so she makes her way at least a little way off the, off the island, and she actually stops and kind of looks back eats, and sits down burger. and kind of uh, like starts eating, eats her burger, mm-hmm. and you can and then they it's show the the restaurant like on fire. And then she, yeah. And they list out the what's it called the yeah the and then like she the uses s'more. the menu that that was in the gift bag as a napkin. How <laughs> to wipe her mouth? Yeah, <laughs> just wipes her face with it. <laughs> so the ingredients for the s'more were marshmallows, chocolate, graham cracker, <laughs> customers, staff, and restaurant. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Like, like I was like, I don't think it was weird to me was how they just sat there as they caught on fire. Like there was no reaction to them catching on fire. Yeah. They, I think at I that mean, point, even they all then, kind of just like, even if you did it, accept like, it, like you would it. still be screaming in pain but, from being on oh, fire. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. So there's one part, I don't remember where it happens, but he does say at, at some point where he's like, you know, if you all really wanted to leave, you could have overpowered us. Yeah, but you didn't. You stayed. Oh God, the speak no evil thing. Yeah, that was the first thing I thought of. Like, I think someone literally asked, like, "Why are you doing this?" In the first question, the first thing. Yeah, for was, real. You let me because you let me. <laughs> that movie's gonna make its way into all of our future oh, I discussions. It. I know it. <laughs> oh, that's so good. And that's that's basically the movie. Symbolism. <laughs> okay. Um, shoot, I just freaking had it. 
basically um, how the chef was treating food as an art piece, as a performance. And yeah, culinary arts is interesting. But personally, I'm like, if it's a food and I can't eat it, then why did you make it? Yes. Like most, like most of the food he made was kind of impressive, oh especially my God. the breadless bread plate, okay. where it's just the sauces. <laughs> like, aha, uh-huh, funny idea, but like, I kind of want to eat, please. As a foodie, now. like, I got upset at this. I got upset at the at Tyler for for acting like he like he was just like oh. He's just a pretentious fucking asshole over food. <laughs> yes, even to the point in which he's like, now, you know, the people who do paintings and drawings and right. Yeah, they don't matter. But the chefs are like, fuck you. And like, I, I agree with Margo. It's just like food shouldn't be an intellectual thing where you have to think about what the concept is going to be throughout this whole meal. I'm just like, bro, just... Let me enjoy my food. Like, yeah, like, it. yes, I eat, yes. I, but I savor it, too. Like, like, I will mm-hmm. thoroughly enjoy my food that you give me. And you'll know, like, if it's a, like, if it's, like, something I've had for the first time, if I cry while I'm eating it, that's a good sign for you. Because <laughs> I, I, it's that good that I am crying. It's like, sir, people who really love food don't want to think when they're eating. Nope. Right? <laughs> but I mean, certain I mean, chefs are artists, oh, just yeah. like actual artists. So there are some restaurants oh, that no. are more like the artsy fartsy. So I, I agree. that's not I agree unheard of. You because but, food is an art within itself. It really is, as someone who cooks yeah. for the joy of it. You've, uh, Zio, you've had my food. <laughs> oh. Oh, yes. Yes, I have. And. Oh, my God. I mm. almost turned him straight. Mm mm mm. I almost got turned straight. I almost turned into a hetero. I almost told my boyfriend, uh, we're adding a third person because this food is too good. This food is... It's going to turn into a thruple. I'm in a thruple. Is that cooking? Well, well, I'm about to make it a six people because you know this... Oh, the cooking. Oh, God. Housekeeper's cooking is so fucking good. Oh, I went back for seconds. Dude, we finished that. I actually think I went back day. for thirds. Like, like all four of us. Yeah, four yeah, of us it was so finished. Yeah, that pasta, that fucking it was uh, a take, creamy, um, it was a, chicken, it was a creamy, um, uh, chicken, Cajun pasta. No, you also you, yeah. So it was the Cajun pasta. But you also made um, uh, yeah, tonkatsu, t- tonkatsu another yeah. night too. Tonkatsu, which I ate like two of those. The pasta, I think went, I went back like three times, and that was some that was some good spicy Cajun pasta. And then the next, so the next thing I'm cooking good. is Zio's uh, recommendation. Uh, he wants me to make butter chicken. Ah, oh, butter so, chicken! I've never done it, so oh, let's see how well it comes that out. That sounds so good. So good. Oh, let's I hope, hope so. I, I'm I sure it's gonna be amazing. Was something I've cooked for the first time. So. So, rating system. Oh, yes, yeah, symbolism. So symbolism. Not dead. Oh, symbolism. <laughs> I was like, I think I, like, I couldn't QN. think of anything else, but then, yeah, the ratings. But also, what's the <gasps> favorite thing you've ever cooked? Oh. Oh. Ooh. We can include that, like, with the ratings or something. Well, wait, is it cooking? Okay, we'll like, think is on that. It we're kind of long. Like, we're long. Is it just <laughs> cooking? Is, <laughs> is it just cooking, or is it also... Um, like baking, like can it be like a, a pastry? Uh, no, it's baking. totally is different. Because baking is a science. Baking is oh. a science. Oh. Well, well, think on that. Mm-hmm. Well, until we, and then we'll do that with the refuse. So, uh, Bunyip, any any uh, symbolism? I, 
I kind of wrapped it up like because we, we've already explained a lot of it during yeah. the session. True. Other than like, yeah, cooking shouldn't be solely um, a but it's, pretentious. But it's also how yeah. performance. I feel art. like it's also um, a commentary on how customers take the joy out of things that people love to do like any any in, like anything that like like let's say that you're an artist right and like you work solely off of commissions that people hire you to do though and those customers are being pretentious over a service and stuff like that like it takes the joy out of it or like even cooking or even if it's just you folding clothes at a freaking uh clothing store you know like customers it's a, it's commentary on how people are so selfish and they only think about themselves that they and put stress on the people that they demand these services from that the people who actually enjoy doing it they start to hate it because of these people i mean that's how i feel about it anyway not just food shouldn't be pretentious yeah. Exactly. Like if you're gonna make That's what makes you make it, it taste with good. Love. <laughs> That's the overarching theme that I can think of for this movie. I'm sure there's others, but I wasn't really picking up on it. Yeah. Ratings is probably the next subject. Oh, uh, what did we say? What were we, what were we gonna do? Not was it. Okay, we were either deciding between chef's cheeseburgers kisses. or chef's kisses. I wasn't here for that. I came in whenever you guys said something about chef's kiss, and I was like, wow. Kind of on the nose for that. As in, like, this <laughs> is <of> the mess. <laughs> I think chef's kisses work. Yeah. Okay, I'll go. I guess I'll go first. Um, so for this movie, I I absolutely loved it. I think you can yeah. tell by how long this conversation has gone on for. Um, yeah. <laughs> so this the acting was amazing. The it was funny. There were parts where I was actually kind of a little scared for the for the people. Like they, uh, the chef, the actor plays a really good just menace. Like he he has a very quiet menace to him that he just needs to look at you and. He, you can put the fear of God into you. Like, I he didn't have to like raise his voice. He didn't have to do anything violent. He literally just had mm-hmm. to look at you, and I thought that was like the best part of this movie. Um, as far as uh, as far as my favorite uh thing that I've ever made, I guess, well, cooking, baking wise, uh, it would probably be breakfast sandwich so you take uh you butter bread you fry it and then you fry an egg and then you fry some ham slap it all together and that's like my favorite thing to eat for breakfast um yeah Mm -hmm. so uh i will give this movie um i honestly like i i don't know i'm pretty sure i've done this once but this movie was so great. I, I have to give it five. There was five one. I don't remember what it was. It was a recent one too. Oh, uh, you know what? Okay, okay. You know what? I I think the only part that I didn't like was um, what's his name? Uh, Tyler. In uh, well, he I was mean, just he made me cringe so hard that it added to the movie. He, but I it also was like he did I his didn't job. Enjoy any of the scenes did that, that he was good in. of acting that you hated this character. True. Mm-hmm. No, you're right. You're right. No, I'll, I'll stick because with five. Because you five love him as R, but you'll hate him as this character, you know? That means that yeah, he did true. a great job. Very true. <laughs> okay, so before I do my rating system, we forgot a scene. It was after the chef told Tyler Which one? something in his ear and he walked off. Oh yeah, and 
he's seen not just the silhouette, silhouette of his, of his scene, feet, but like seen. of his feet and his silhouette of his scene silhouette of his feet um as Margot's walking off you see him hanging in the doorway by his tie yeah and it's like a split second but uh, yeah okay. yeah i forgot that scene i was like oh no um i would have to say my favorite thing that i've ever cooked would be my tonkatsu um it's one that that i have made a lot of i feel like it's i wouldn't say it's my signature dish because you know it's a japanese dish and it's like a home com a comfort food type dish for them um but it's one that i've perfected and i don't even need like a recipe like you know how people like print out i don't need a recipe for it i know the exact like measurements for everything and that's uh go with your gut <laughs> so i was like my gut tells me exactly what i need to put into that and like how much of it i think the only thing i measure is the um the uh meeting and and um soy sauce that i use whenever i'm cooking the uh, onions for it and that's it um Mm -hmm. that being said I'll probably also give it a 5 I don't have any complaints over it the sound design was great the acting was great the story was very cohesive you know you could understand it and I had to think too hard on it um I felt this movie mm -hmm. in my soul <laughs> as a, a fellow uh, food service worker so I was like, man, same. <laughs> so I will give it five mm. chef's kisses. Okay. So. Alrighty. So my favorite dish to make. Hmm. There's a, so my family likes a pass down recipes of from monks members so like my grandmother passed down a bunch of recipes to my mom and then my mom's passed down those recipes and then a bunch of other recipes that she's done over the years to me and out of those i like my mother may has made this five alarm chili Ooh. uh mm -hmm. turkey chili from scratch and it is so good it has like three or four times of different beans uh, ground turkey or you can put any meat in it but we used it for ground turkey because she came up with she uh, took a, a chili recipe when she was on going through a, on a diet years ago and she altered it and but you can add any meat you can add ground beef ground chicken whatever she just happens we just happen to use ground turkey um but ground turkey like several different types of beans and vegetables tomatoes diced tomatoes um i think tomato juice and a bunch of spices. Oh, that shit's to die for. It's so good. It's not very hard to make, but I like experimenting, like how make it how like make it how make control the spiciness of it all. Because I'm not one for spicy food, but that I will eat hot as fuck. I will sit there and sweat from how hot I make it because it's just so good. Um, but I haven't made that in a while, actually. Now I want to. <laughs> but yeah, I, I would say my my family's five alarm chili turkey. Uh, yeah, chili. And then I would rate this film. Originally, I rated it four and a half out of five. But after watching it again and pondering on it, I'm gonna give this one five out of five too. Five out of five chefs kisses. What chef? Are you doing chef kisses or cheeseburgers? Chef kisses. Chef's Kisses, 5 out of 5, because it's just so good and entertaining, and it gives me Ready or Not vibes, which I love that film, which I'm sure we'll do a new, an updated review of it with the new co-host, because that was like within our first five episodes. But this movie straight up gives me Ready or Not vibes, and I love every minute of it. I was not expecting this movie to be that good, honestly. I thought it was going to be decent, but not as good as it actually turned out to be, so I was pleasantly surprised. 
Um, Miss Taylor Joy, you are amazing as always. Nicholas Holt, you cute. <laughs> and you good too. And Voldemort, wow, Voldemort, you can cook. Mm. Wow, props. <laughs> so yes, five out of five chef's kisses. Mwah. Don't feel intimidated, Bunyip. Just say what you feel. How you rate it? I'll get the rating out of the way. Five out of five. Okay, it's five out of what? five. It's as across the board. This is a crazy great movie. <laughs> Seriously? What? Oh wow. Okay. I th- I don't know if you're being serious enough. Like, I do like it. It was incredible. I I guess the part where I I missed out on some details, like the three rich dick bags in what like what they were doing here uh, and it was like oh mm-hmm. they're actually with the investor okay yeah um so <clears throat> i don't know why i keep losing my train of thought but one thing it did weirdly make me think about making food again oh for the fun of it kind of like a more like an appreciation for food like when i watched <laughs> food wars it would do the same thing, like man, this makes mm-hmm. food, this makes me inspired to make my own food. That has made but in this not case, it was it to make more different. food. <laughs> it, it did, but not because like the food was so good, their clothes fly off. It was just the creative ways in which they approach making food. I'm like, you can just do mm-hmm. that. Wait a minute, this is an animation. I should just shut these ideas I out right now. No, you could do that. <laughs> but this one, it did it in a different way. And part of it is like, oh yeah, I forgot like how much thought goes into making all this gorgeous food and stuff. But also, maybe I shouldn't make this guy angry because he might come back he and kill makes, me someday. He's a good villain, bro. Right. He does. Yeah. Oh no, I and recognize I him. Didn't it's recognize the him set of his lips. It was the set of his I mouth know, for yeah. me. Because... <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, his it piercing his eyes. But me. honest to God, it's it's his lips for me because I don't know what it is about me, but I always look at how people's mouths move when they talk. It's not me, and because everybody has their own like little mannerisms when they when they talk and stuff. So I don't know. It's fascinating to me, <laughs> and so the way his mouth moves is very unique, and the way his lips are set is very unique. So um, I recognize him. So I was like, hey, wait a minute, that's Voldemort. <laughs> Just by the way, like his mouth moved, I was like, "Oh, hey, I know this guy." Oh, also, nope. the um, how the critics oh, are being that. pretty much called out on. Mm-hmm. Which yeah. I have yes, to say, we like, are. Aren't we doing the same? But thing? our, but we're not critics that <laughs> will ruin like... somebody's uh career. Yeah. Period. Yeah. Yeah, crazy. like we pretty much just do this for fun, and we only really tear into a movie that's awful. Mm, Whereas that at least like, some other films, I'm like, ah, this was kind of bad, but I recognize the effort that they put into it. So mm-hmm. maybe they just <laughs> had bad excuses. And then there's others that are like, you guys didn't even try. What is y'all? You're gonna have oh an experience when it gets close to Valentine's Day. Oh, God. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> that <ranch. laughs> And as oh, were y'all finished? Or yep. I go for it. Okay. My favorite thing to have made, and I can't <laughs> not, is a cheeseburger. <gasps> Work. I, I mean, there's a few things, but I, it's it's relevant because it was like my mom knew how to make this cheeseburger, and then I learned how to make it for the first time, and it tasted exactly like the way she made it. And I was like, oh, I did a good job. So it's <laughs> it's ground yeah. chuck red meat. Or beef, I mean, yeah, ground beef. And then it's seasoned with an indeterminate amount of salt, pepper, garlic seasoning, and like a little bit of Worcestershire sauce in the patty. Mm. And then you just put it on the grill and you cook it until it's like, until it looks done or medium well. And then you serve it on a sesame seed bun and add any oh cheese God. you want. And it is so juicy. I can't think of any other like burger restaurant that's come close to 
through this. I just kind of realized flavor. I never said how to make the tonkatsu. <laughs> No, it's a not a secret a because like, it's yeah, literally it's like a <laughs> house staple in Japan. Like, like you know how like there's always like that one food that like you always think of whenever you think of your mom because like that's what they would always make or like she would always make. Um, tonkatsu mm. is it's it's a comfort food, and all it is is just it's it's a pork cutlet that is breaded um so what i do is i do flour egg and then panko then the flour is just seasoned with salt and pepper the panko is also seasoned with salt and pepper and you uh shallow fry it so you put like just enough oil in a in a pan to like fry it and you can flip it and fry it again uh almost like a almost like a deep fry sorry i hit my mic uh and <laughs> you're like what the no, I hit I hit my mic. I thought someone was slurping. And uh, <laughs> and um, uh, while you're while you're cooking the 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 pork cutlets, you wanna you wanna cook your rice. And so with with my rice, it's just uh just plain plain rice with with water, it's salted water. Um, uh, cause you don't wanna uh mess with the 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 flavor of of the the sauces that you put in it so after all the tonkatsu um is done cooking you cut up some onions now i have found recently that red onions is probably the best route to go with onions on this um you cut some red onions and you saute them in this uh in the pan that you were using i used a leftover oil as as the um uh uh with the onions and then i make a uh a sauce with mirin or mirin um soy sauce and a little bit of sugar and um i saute it just enough to where that sauce is like very very thick i slice the tonkatsu in in like thin slices Put it on top of the sautéed onions, and then I poured scrambled egg on top. And um, I put the mm. the cover on it, let it cook, and then I get it and I flip it over to finish it off just for like a second. Get a bowl full of rice, slap that shit on top, get the tonkatsu sauce, which um, is oyster sauce, Worcestershire sauce. And something else mixed together, I can't remember what it is at the moment, but, or you can just go to your local Asian market and they have a bottle of tonkatsu sauce. Uh, squeeze some of that shit on top and then uh, uh, green onions. And you won't think that that shit will fill you up, but it sneaks up on you and it fills you up. And like the reason why it's my favorite is because like like... <laughs> Not because people praise me for it, but because that's the most happy I've ever seen somebody like eat my food. Like no matter how many times I've made it, everybody who's eaten it, like it brings them joy. And that's my joy in cooking is seeing everybody else enjoy the food that they're eating. That's why it's my favorite. <laughs> See, this was nice. <laughs> it's not a secret recipe. Any final thoughts from anybody Treat before we end today's episode? Kindly and with respect. Yes. Savor your food. Yeah, That's just don't savor your them. food. And don't make well, it just for the heck of making it. Yeah. I like make it with intention. <laughs> I don't have any words of wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening to today's episode. Five out of five is the score across the board. For Another the, for perfect Sp- score from Spookalypse. So we're having it, a good year so far. It is. 
uh, on HBO Max if you like to watch this movie. Please do so at the time of the at the time of this recording is on HBO Max currently. And it I don't it may be in a few of your local theaters. Maybe. If not, Disney should be releasing it on Blu-ray and DVD if it's not already out. I think it's already out actually. Um yeah. for a home release, I think it's already out. Uh, so right now it's on HBO Max. I'm sure at some point it's gonna move over to Hulu. I'm sure. But nonetheless, thank you guys for listening to today's episode. Catch us next time as we talk about something else. Until then, bye. Bye. Bye.